Okay guys, so today is a Saturday and I'm leaving uh, Florianopolis downtown to head to Balneario Camboriú because uh, there's really not much to do down in the center here or see a visit because it's pretty dead. But uh, in Balneario there's going to be probably a ton more things to do. So, And I'm stoked to check it out. Uh, Uber's on its way. There is a bus that you can take to get there. But I'm not sure if it runs on Saturday. It probably does, but I'm just, I, I want to just sort of get there quickly. So I'm calling an Uber and it's on its way. Take about an hour drive from here, more or less. And the cost is one, 130 reais. Maybe like what, 30, 40 US dollars to get there. So just waiting. It's first thing in the morning. I didn't even have my coffee yet, but uh, it's okay. And then, uh, after the weekend, I'll come back and stay here for a couple more days and fly out to uh, Porto Alegre. Okay guys, so I just got to my other Airbnb here in Balneário Camboriú. And it's very interesting because it's, it's a container. So like, you know, the thing that they, the thing that they transport, uh, you know, supplies, whatever, equipment uh, from one country to the other. Yes, that's what I'm staying in. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. It's I've been it's been made up to look like a, an apartment complex. Even has a little balcony. That's pretty sweet. I'm just gonna close this. I'm gonna head out and check check what's up. I need to have a coffee. I didn't really have breakfast. And I'm probably going to go and maybe get this cut if there's a place open. Get my hair cut. We'll see how that goes. And then check the the beach area here. I'm really uh, excited to check it out. So let's head out. I'll also show you guys what this place looks like. literally a container it's crazy <laughs> I think I paid 145 reais which is like I don't know 30 bucks 30 US something like that per night so I am going to here's a better shot of it Gonna go get a coffee somewhere close by. Check out the buildings. Jesus. I wonder if you can go up there. As I said, very sunny. I just arrived and I'm gonna I'm gonna see what's up. I'm not even gonna plan anything really right now just sort of do a quick check check up on this place see what's up so as I mentioned it's about a hour trip from Floripa hour and a bit especially if you come with no traffic like I did um, yeah nice scenes along the way beautiful beautiful views this city doesn't seem to have that much uh, nature, so I mean, I don't know. I'm just, I just get here. I just got here, so let's go to the bakery. Here's the coffee place. Olá, tudo bem? Bom dia. Eu vou querer um espresso médio, por favor. É por. Ah, ainda é olhado ainda. Tem. Tem bolos simples? Ah, aqui. Bem na minha cara. É, talvez um pedacinho do, do bolo de cenoura, por favor. 
Oi? É. Posso ficar lá de fora? Tá. Tá. Obrigado. Chill here, have a coffee, and then head get my hair cut quickly. <laughs> it's needed. Okay, so got my hair cut. Cost me 30 reais. Yeah, so I'm just gonna head to Centro Balneário here, and then I'll go over to the beach and show you guys. So when I get to Centro, I'll show you what it looks like there. Almost to Centro here in Balneário, but I, you know what, this place kind of reminds me of Baja in a weird way when it comes to like the infrastructure and whatnot. Um, I would just say it's like 20 times bigger than Baja, you know, and a little bit more compact. So it's definitely a lot different in, than many, many cities around Brazil. And a fast fact, uh, this is the biggest population of Argentinians outside of Argentina. 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 Um, so that's what the people were telling me at the barber shop. So pretty interesting. I didn't know that. I've, I've actually seen a few stores with like uh, Las Hermanas and things like that. So interesting. So I'm entering downtown Balneário Camboriú, saying it's uh, quite busy. Over here doesn't look like it really, but maybe on the there's a street that goes sort of parallel to this one, just past the overpass. We'll check that out. So this appears to be the the street that's very busy right now. Since I've never been here before, it, you have to really like try to navigate. And not get hit by a car either. Seems to be uh, a lot of stores open on a Saturday. I don't know about Sunday. It's a good, good question. We'll see tomorrow. I don't know that I'll come to the Centro again here, but I will. Uh, I will check out some of the happening spots at night at Opal. Kind of reminds me of a. Uh, Weirdly enough, of a Canadian city. Very, very organized. Now, which way do we go here? <laughs> There's not much going on here, so I'm gonna probably head to the beach, show you guys that place. Okay guys, so I'm just nearly getting to the beach now. It's really like dead here for a Saturday, but I guess that's because it's a uh, low season. So we'll see how the beach is. I mean, I'm guessing it's gonna still be pretty busy. So far it looks nice. Let's see when we get there. I had to go to, uh, to one of the shops to get a earphones for this phone, the new phone that I have, so let's check it out. And it doesn't look too busy from, at least from this angle. Let's check it out.
So there's still people still visiting here. Let's cross the road when we can. Already kind of reminds me of like Copa, I guess, but different. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, it's nearly impossible crossing. now <laughs> otherwise I'll never get over Yeah, from first glance, you would think, oh, I'm in Copa. That's just my first observation. C'est où c'est? Wow, it's a long way down there. Holy crap. It's a big, big fucking beach. I think I'm gonna have to take an Uber to get to the other side. It's just way, way too far from here. Wow. I thought it was actually closer to, to that, and this place is massive, man. It's like, I would say it's twice the size of Copa. Still pretty busy for a colder day, quote unquote colder day. But yes, I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get an Uber from here. Okay guys, so I just took an Uber, which was like a 10 minute ride or so, 9 reais. Look at this, I, I think this is, I don't know if this is, this is definitely bigger than Copa, for sure. What a view. I'm gonna try and use the drone here. Check out the beach and some of these buildings. My God, it's... The girl in the... Uh, the Uber driver was telling me that it's... They compared to like the Dubai of Brazil. Which is very, you know, telling. Definitely looks like it. People are always telling me like, Oh, you should check out my my town or whatever that's not that far from here like the last uber driver and i'm and i look on the map and it's just way out of i mean there's only so much time you have to travel and get content and you know not waste time like for me i, I i'm open to checking out all kinds of places you know beach towns and things like that but oh uh, there's the ferris wheel I'm just going on this boardwalk here, which kind of stretches out. It's it's much like the one in they have in Baja da Tijuca. Uh, I, I can't.
Okay, Brahma. I'm gonna go up there, I think. But after I do what I gotta do here. But it doesn't look like it's even... <laughs> oh, it's, it's moving, but just very damn slow. Someone's already flying a drone here. I wonder where I should take uh, use the drone. I'm gonna walk to the end and then come back and use the drone. I think that's the best idea. And this is moving just very slow. <laughs> I had no idea it was this enormous. I mean, I, I've uh, enormous. I've seen like. Uh, videos and all kinds of stuff but I didn't expect it to be this enormous I guess vast is the word I would use I guess the also the bad thing is that a lot of these buildings block a gap like there's only gaps of Sun on the beach so because of these massive buildings so a certain time of day it's not the best to to get a get a good sun, good good spot of sun. <laughs> to, I'll be honest with you guys, I didn't really like plan everything that I was going to do here. It was just kind of a spur of the moment when I booked my you know trip and whatever. I, I wasn't going to come here, but then I'm like, okay, I'll make a few days. It's, it's, and pass by here why not I will probably do the the lift that they have here for sure and uh, yeah we'll, we'll see what, what else is possible oh god there's a some sort of photo shoot or something going on the water is not the cleanest looking, so I don't know if that's just to do with the time of year or what. I don't know. I'll just go to the end to get some panoramic shots and then I'll Go back to this. Go back to the shade and use the drone because it's hard to see when you're. Uh... Photo guy's gonna bother me probably. Surprised they're not selling anything else over here. Good shot of me in Balmiad. I'm gonna try to do the Ferris wheel like before maybe tomorrow I'm gonna do the uh, the lift likely Just so so far away from each other the other ones on the other on the other end there I think that's the, where the lift is right I can see it right on the end there I don't know if there's gonna be a time for that today because it's gonna get dark and I'd rather not do it dark in the night time so let's go to the Ferris wheel
Okay guys, I'm gonna check out this Ferris wheel. Somebody told me it was 60 ray eyes, but who knows. Let's check it out. I went to the one in Rio already. I did a little video about that. But this one definitely has a, a nicer view, I guess. Where do I buy tickets? What we got? I think that was a Lamborghini sound. Someone told me that a lot of people like to rev their cars through here, show off. Boa tarde, tudo bem? Obrigado. Seria compra de ingresso? Ainda não comprei. Tudo bem, qual seria a forma de pagamento? É crédito. Crédito? Pode passar ali com a Cecília? Tá. É direto, né? Com a Cecília. Ah, ah tá. Aqui. Tudo bem? É. Tudo. Pra 58 por pessoa, tá? Tá, tá bom. Mais ou menos, eu fui pra aquela roda no Rio de Janeiro, é a mesma coisa? Aqui é novo, só uma volta, né? Uma volta completa de 20 minutos. Daí as cabines aqui não são compartilhadas. Você uhum. vai sozinho. Bom, obrigado. Obrigado. Não, obrigado. Sim, embarque. Olá, boa tarde. Tudo bem? Ah, tá. Não precisa não. Obrigado. Tudo bem? Obrigado. Tá. Obrigado. Uh, so the ride lasts for 20 minutes. And you get your own your own pod. <laughs>
today guys you know it's a Saturday I'm probably gonna end the video today unless I go get a little bit of footage for tonight it's I don't know if I caught that. I think it's true on the motorcycle. <laughs> I'm gonna walk on the beach. I don't have any flip flops. My other camera ran out of battery, so I have to use my phone. <laughs> Tomorrow, I shall go to the other end of uh, Balneari and maybe go to check out this. Uh, other beach possibly. I'm gonna try and cram in as much as possible tomorrow. Gotta wake up early man. You don't wake up early you don't get you don't get shit done. You know that's a pretty cool city, I have to say.